You have to remember that it takes as much time and effort to work on an unimportant problem as to work on an important problem. So to develop this perspective is very, very important. Be bold, not be afraid to take up difficult problems, but also prepare an escape route. Know that your chances of success if you take a really important and difficult problem are not 100%. So have in mind what you will do if you will not succeed in this problem, have another problem on reserve to keep you going. Well, uh, I'm a theoretician and I started my career in, as an experimentalist. And then it turned out I did not really like the tediousness of experimental work. You have to do things over and over again it is not interesting on a daily basis, and I thought theory will be interesting on a daily basis. It turned out that also theory is not always on a daily basis. But anyway, I got the idea that it will be great to, to be able to do chemistry outside the laboratory. And at the same time, my university purchased the first mainframe computer. So there was no computer on campus when I started my studies, but there was one when I chose a research problem. My ambition was to be able to do chemistry on computers. And uh, then I developed my perspectives and turned out that it is not a straightforward problem. And slowly I came to choose the problems that are actually interesting for me. But this took time, as I said before. I work in different aspects of transport in nanosystems. And the general uh, title, I would say, is quantum transport and control of tra quantum transport. Now, when I say quantum transport, it can be transport of charge, like electronic charge. Uh, and if we want to control electronic currents, we can do it by external fields. We can do it by optical fields. Uh, and at the same time, if we have transport, there is always a development of heat in the system. So we have to also study heat transport in systems. Uh, so I would say the combination of electronic transport, optical interactions, heat transport, spin transport, magnetic transport, is the general area in which I'm working on. At the same time, to make a fundamental theory on the quantum level, since nanosystems of all these phenomena, if you want to make a general theory, then the conversion of energy motions, mechanical motions, and, uh, and information are all under the, I would say, the general field of thermodynamics. Now, in macroscopic physics, thermodynamics is an old and very de developed subject. In the nanosystem, this is a completely new field, sometimes with completely new rules. And studying all these phenomena under the general framework of quantum thermodynamics is another main subject of my research. I think it should play a relevant role in all aspects of life, and it does, in fact. But uh, we learned that uh, information and energy are very closely related. Energy in the sense of thermal energy and entropy. So I think it's already an important part of physics, and I think it will grow because, as I say, when we handle more and more entanglement phenomena and transport of entanglement, this is basically, I could say at the same time, transport of information, because entanglement is quantum information. So transport of information, controlling information, and correcting errors in information as they occur because of these thermal fluctuations, 
will be our main challenges for the future. Unification of energy and information, of course, is the prime subject, but uh, I, I think the main difficulty between us and quantum computing and other quantum technologies, in particular on the nano level, is the noise that basically spoils the advantages that quantum mechanics give us. Quantum mechanics give us information to work with the phase of a wave function. Noise and fluctuations and dephasing destroy this part of the, uh, uh, of the, the tool that we have, which brings us back to classical uh, phenomena. So controlling noise, controlling fluctuations, correcting errors that are caused by them, I would say is one main subject. The other main subject uh, is the transfer of entanglement. That is, we know a lot about transfer of energy, transfer of charge, conversion of energy. We know, we know very little about transfer of entanglement and studying this as a field. I mentioned before different transport phenomena. In the future, I think transport of entanglement can be another important transport phenomenon to study.